The easiest way to make a Rizzo drawing in Photoshop is to make it from scratch. We are going to use layers to separate out our colors rather than channels. You can see uh, that we are in RGB and that will enable us to use effects or any adjustments that you might want to use that are part of your normal Photoshop workflow. Those are not options that are available if you're in a multicolor mode or using spot channels. So we're going to consolidate all our colors onto layers instead. Our first layer is going to be our blue color. And we're just going to select the blue swatch from our blackboard swatches and draw directly onto the page. And you are going to want to use opacity to show lighter and darker variations in blue. Um, rather than using like a light blue. So if you use the Photoshop brushes a lot, um, this is probably the best method for you. I'm now making a yellow channel for all of my yellow colors. I'm going to select a yellow Rizzo color and fill in all of my yellow elements. And you notice that the default blend mode normal does not combine the colors. Um, it just shows whatever is on top. And later we can switch that blending mode to multiply and we'll see what the colors look like overlapping. Right here, I am making a copy of my yellow channel so that I can make all those yellow items blue as well and therefore make green. I'm going to make my secondary color blue and then with my yellow copy layer selected, I'm going to hit Command, Shift, Delete to change the whole layer to blue. And then I'm going to select all of my layers so far and change their blending mode to multiply. So you can see all of the colors are overlapping now. And we've got that green color. So if you want to change some of those colors back or remove them, you simply use the brush tool like you normally would and you can control how much you have of each color on each channel and draw the way you normally would. You just have to keep track basically of which colors are on what layer. Um, and that's one thing that I do like about drawing on channels instead is that you don't have to be constantly changing your color um, or make sure that your pink color is always on your pink layer and your blue color is always on your blue layer. Um, but if, again, if you want to use effects or you just don't like using channel, this is a really great way to keep your color separated by just using layers. So once you have the drawing complete, you're going to combine or rather merge those layers that are the same color. So that blue flower, I had a few other detail layers, I'm going to merge them all onto one blue layer. So I have a blue layer, a yellow layer, and a pink layer. And I'm going to use that same command shift delete command to change each of these color layers to black because in Riso printing 100% black is going to get you 100% opacity. So your brightest yellows you want to actually be black when you submit them. Another way to do this is to simply select your content and use an adjustment layer and make it a color fill layer. Sometimes I like to do this and I just can continue to edit the piece using the mask. Um, I just wanted to show you that alternative method, but for this I'm just going to use the fill background color command to make these all solid black. Now that we have all of our colors saved as black fills, we're going to export, file export layers to files. And even though I only have my top layer selected, this is going to export all of my layers. So even that little blue draft file that I saved is going to be exported. We can just delete it later. Um, save them in a place you'll remember, give it a name you'll remember, and make sure you bring up the quality to 12. So you can see now all of these files are right where I saved them. I'm just going to delete the background layer and that draft blue file that I saved. 
And I'm also going to go back to my original color and save it as a JPEG because when you submit files to the Imaging Center, the first image in that PDF needs to be a color proof so that we know generally what you want your image to look like when it's done. So I'm going to save it in that same file. And now we're going to combine these into one PDF. We go to Acrobat, File, Create, Combine Files into a single PDF. Click Add Files. And you can just select your colors that you saved. And Acrobat will combine them for you into one PDF. And here you can change the order. Um, I'm going to put my proof first and I'll hit combine. And there we have it. And if you look at your colors and you decide you want to change the order, generally you want your most detailed or your darkest color to be your first plate. So I'm going to drag my blue plate up and put it first. And there you have it.